Hi, my name's Johnny, and today we're taking a look at the Doug Pinnock DP3X from Tech21. Now, for those who don't know who Doug Pinnock is, he is the bass player of King's X. Go and check out their stuff, and there's loads of videos on YouTube of him talking about his tone, and talking about the pedal, and talking about his amp as well, which is a Tech 21 Ultra 1000, I think. It's got like a split signal type doohickey in it. it means you reserve the low end and distort the high end and split them and have them separate so you don't lose any clarity in the low end. So this pedal kind of aims to do something similar to that and put his signature sound in a really small bit of real estate for your pedal board. Now Tech21, American company, who are well known for making the Sans amp and different variations. They've now got the Geddy Lee signature as well as this Doug Pinnock. And I've been thinking about getting one of these for a long time. I finally got one in my hands thanks to John over on Instagram who has lent me this one to borrow to check out. Yeah, this thing is awesome. This thing is Incredible, so good, it's amazing, bloody brilliant, fantabulous, excellent, I love it. This thing is so good, so good. Starting with the controls then, you've got your volume. I tend to have the volume really low, uh, but I haven't played this through a live rig, only through my studio setup. Three band preamp, which is highs, mid and low, which gives you a nice range of all the parametrics. And you've also got a mid shift button in there. Now let me look what the button does, because I don't really know. Hmm. Moving on after the preamp is the compressor. It's just a single knob, how much compression you want. I seem to like my compression on this particular pedal quite low, about nine o'clock. Let's take a listen to how the clean preamp sounds. Thank you. 
going on? Weirdly, I don't know why the knobs aren't next to each other. That would just make sense. But you've got your chunk and your drive. I love the word chunk. Give you a bit more chunk. It does exactly what it says. It's just more, it's just more chunk. Um, the chunk is the amount of distortion being let onto the high end. So the more you crank that up, the more shrill it's going to get. It doesn't distort the low end, which is the drive is your level of drive. I quite like to have it three quarters of the way up and the chunk just over about 10 o'clock. Now let's take a listen to the overdrive circuit. at distortion it's hard not to compare it to dark glass dark glass are well known for being the kings of distortion but every time i buy one i end up selling it and i don't know why i would compare this to my dark glass x ultra but i've just sold it <laughs> that's the problem with starting out on youtube i don't have any money to fund it so i've got to keep buying and selling and buying and selling to keep this thing keep this afloat so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe today and stay tuned for more content where was i i can't remember oh yes dark glass so the dark glass when you put the distortion on it just kind of takes over it colors your tone too much and i like to have a clean a nice clean tone and then the, the distortion on the top rather than it just completely coloring it and changing the shape of the wave format so much. I always felt like it did that. I think this is my favorite dark glass distortion. <laughs> it's kind of dark glass-esque, but it still retains the the clean tone. I don't know what it is. Leave me a comment down below uh, what you think of these distortion pedals and what they're doing. For me, this was just my favorite chunky distortion, meaty distortion tone that I've ever had out of this kind of pedal, especially from Tech 21 as well. It's really unique compared to the other preamps that they do. The clean channel I think is great. I don't think it's as nice as a standard Sans amp. I would love, love if they could put this overdrive circuit into a standard Sans amp and just to see how that sounds because having that clean and that dirty, oh, magnifique. This pedal is designed to be an all-in-one. So you've got a tuner on there as well, which is pretty accurate and also got uh, headphone out, which you can just plug your headphones into the out there. So there's no, there's no other headphone input. You just plug it into the out with an adapter, press the button, and then you can play through headphones. I think the preamp on this for the headphones out is really good. I think it sounded awesome. The other thing we've got is an XLR out. Of course, this being a preamp, we need that XLR out to go straight in front of the house or for recording. And you've got the XLR button there as well. Now I was told that it adds a bit of a, almost like a cab sim automatically to the XLR when it comes out. And you can definitely hear that when you're recording through it. It sounds, it's not as high output. Um, personally, when I'm recording at home, 
I quite like that high output, so I just run it straight from the out and straight into my interface. Now, badger me in the comments if that is just absolutely the wrong thing to do, and Johnny, you're a flipping moron. You silly boy. Let me know in the comments below. For any other info on this pedal, and if I've missed anything, click the link in the description and it'll take you to the official site where you can read more. If you're looking at picking up um, a preamp that has the distortion built in, I would really recommend this. It's so fat sounding and really sits well in a mix. You want the low end of the bass to blend in with the kick and then the high end of the bass to mix in with the distortion of the guitars to really gel it all together. Hence why this is so good for a three piece and that's what King's X are. So I can totally see why this type of pedal really works for Doug Pinnock and his overall tone. Stay tuned next week where I'm gonna be reviewing my brand new bass, which you might have seen in the intro, the Sterling Ray 24CA. Go over, follow me on Instagram, where I'm featuring your sexy basses in my highlight thread. Just send me a message on there or tag me in your story and I'll repost it and feature it. Thanks, thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.